Here he is, y'all. <laughs> this is his first time seeing it in person. Actually, it's his first time seeing it. It's my first time seeing it ever. Ever. Oh, yeah. He bought it sight unseen, and yeah. <laughs> this is the first time he's seen it. What do you think? Uh, it's bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's not. This isn't what you think of when somebody says no, tiny not. house. No, it's not. Look at that ceiling. This is probably the hardest part of running electrical wires, trying to get around these corners like this right here. And I really need it to go through since there's vaulted ceiling in here. So I'm gonna try to drill a hole and get into this empty cavity back here. Uh, but there's a bunch of wood, so it's really, really hard. You got my needle nose pliers? Yes. Uh, what? Needle nose pliers. Oh. Easy. <laughs> he said easy. <laughs> okay, so we're trying to map out where the wires are going to go. And we have a light switch that's going to go right here. And that light switch will feed the, uh, the living room lights, um, a ceiling fan, and the exterior porch lights. Um, and I'm running power directly to the, the uh, light switches from the um, breaker box. Uh, that way we can use like smart switches if, if we want to. Um, so, you know, you can use like the Amazon Echo or something like that to turn the lights on and off. Um, that way, if we need to, somebody could turn the lights on or off from somewhere else. Like I could be at my house and turn his lights on and off for him if if we need to. Um, I don't know that we ever would need to do that, but you know, just trying to plan ahead. So the wire is gonna come from the light switch, goes down across the bottom here, all the way across the bottom here. And then uh, we had a little bit of difficulty getting it through all those studs in that corner there. So um, just in case I don't show that to you guys, we drilled straight through and then uh, we tried to get at the same exact height and we drilled straight through that way and we made those, those two holes connect uh, inside there and we had to just kind of fish it around. So then we're gonna run the wire all the way across here. and uh, try to do the same thing right there. And then the, the um, breaker box is gonna be in this cavity right here. So instead, we're going to turn this corner right here because that is way easier. And then we'll run it up through those top plates. And there's a tiny, tiny bit of attic space right above the laundry room. So we'll run it up there instead. That'll be, that'll be a whole lot easier.
getting another one through that same hole. That's, that's going to be interesting. everything we're finishing up most of the electrical now and so we've ran all the wires we first we drilled all the holes then we ran the wires through 
And um, now that we're getting it kind of everything get wrapped up, um, we're gonna go back and put staples on all of the cables to keep them in place. And then the very last step is we'll put the no nail plates. So uh, once everything is finished, you put a, a metal plate over the, the stud so that you can't put a screw or a nail. So if you're doing electrical, make sure you don't make a mistake and leave out a cable. Yeah, we caught it in time, but. I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one.